like to boogie on the disco. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Filming live from a third story one bedroom apartment in North Mishawak, Indiana, the Princess City, cursed by geese. It's the Handlebar Growing Mustache Extravaganza with your host, Dave. Handlebar Mustache Show, Handlebar Mustache Show. Stash is looking great, but we can't be late for the Handlebar Mustache Show. Welcome back to year six, day 58, take two, Jackfruit Edition. Ah, uh, Fat, is that you? Said that my phone dropped. Hold on, Slim. Am I on the air? Hello? You'll never guess what I had a jackfruit today. It's. Uh, you don't know jack squat. How do you know about fruit? Well, I don't know jack squat, but I know jackfruit. <laughs> it's got nuts in it, and it's got fruit in it, and it looks like a big hairy something. They said some are 10 pounds. Some are 100 pounds. It's a miracle food. Huh. Leaving starvation in its wake. Or lack of starvation, I should say. How do you dissect the fruit? You cut it into discs, kind of like you would a watermelon. Okay. And cut the disc in half. And then there's some meat between the middle part. It's like a middle part, like uh, like the core of a pineapple. It's got yeah, like yeah. a middle core, and it's got an outer layer. Layer. It's the middle part between those two that you eat, mm. and it does taste pretty good. There's not much meat in them, and you really have to work at it. But did you try some, Franny? Yeah. What do you think? It was okay. It's supposed to taste like mango, banana, apple, and orange all mixed together. It's a little, little sweet. It's it, it's kind of dry. Yeah, it's a miracle food, I tell you. Where does it come from? It comes from Southeast Asia. Oh. Uh, what's the name of that country? I want to say Indonesia. Laos, Malaysia, Korea. Indonesia, I barely know you. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Jackfruit contains no saturated fat or cholesterol. Huh. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Tell me your bunless burger wasn't bad either. Yeah, Fred made me a bunless burger today. No bun. Cutting the carbs, good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all working out pretty good for me. Everything's coming up roses. And I got my big singing lesson tomorrow. I'll get to bring the CD I got from New Orleans over. I can't wait for that. Oh, no, no can do. Can't wait for that. No can do. Yeah, we got the... The window door open, and we can hear this, the sound of the trickling rain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got a flat roof here. We can hear it on the roof, and we can watch our TV freeze because we got direct TV. It's great. You tell them Cousin Daniel. All kinds of chill shots for like five minutes at a time. Yeah, Cousin Dan got moved to Holy Cross Village. Something or other, St. Mark's Division. He's on the second floor. So we talked to him. I didn't go see him today because he was in transitionary mode. He's going to start getting sponge baths. Man, yeah, sponge baths might not be so bad. So, uh, what's the, uh, Prognosis, how long is he going to stay there? Well, they say six to eight weeks. Oh, okay. I could, I don't. He says the place is better than his own apartment, though, so maybe it won't be so bad for him. That's pretty good. Yeah. Maybe the food's better, too. I'm not sure how good a cookie is, but 
Well, he said he had chicken salad and macaroni salad for dinner. So I guess it depends how they make it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they don't get the best cooks there. Sometimes they do. It's a real crapshoot. <laughs> Just like you, Fat, when you were working with the nuns. Amen. You were a diamond in the rough. Yeah. Yep, maybe. Well, I probably said too much. Yeah, pretty much so. Yeah. Knock out wood. Keep it classy, you know, Web. And until I see you tomorrow, from me and Fat T and Fran, we bid you all a Raven Archie and a new. Oh, that was nice. <laughs>